Hanak, Enoch, 60. Then another angel who proceeded with me spoke to me and showed me the first and last secrets in heaven above and in the depths of the earth. In the extremities of heaven and in the foundations of it and in the receptacle of the winds. He showed me how their Ruachot were divided, how they were balanced, and how both the springs and the winds were numbered according to the force of their Ruach. He showed me the power of the moon's light, that its power is a just one, as well as the divisions of the stars according to their respective names. Every division is divided that the lightning flashes, that its troops immediately obey, and that a cessation takes place during thunder in continuance of its sound. Nor are the thunder and the lightning separated, neither do both of them move with one ruach, yet they are not separated. For when the lightning lightens, the thunder sounds, and the Ruach, at a proper period, pauses, making an equal division between them. For the receptacle, upon which their periods depend, is as sand. Each of them, at a proper season, is restrained with a bridle, and turned by the power of the Ruach, which thus propels according to the spacious extent of the earth. The Ruach, likewise, of the sea is potent and strong, and as a strong power causes it to ebb, so it is driven forwards and scattered against the mountains of the earth. The Ruach of the Frost has its angel. In the Ruach of Hail, there is a good angel. The Ruach of Snow ceases in its strength, and as a solitary Ruach is in it, which ascends from it, like vapor, and is called refrigeration. The Ruach, also of mist, dwells with them in their receptacle, but it has a receptacle to itself, for its progress is in splendor, in light and in darkness, in winter and in summer. Its receptacle is bright, and it is an angel. The abode of the Ruach of Dew is in the extremities of heaven, in connection with the receptacle of rain. And its progress is in winter and in summer. The cloud produced by it and the cloud of the mist become united. One gives to the other. And when the Ruach of rain is in motion from its receptacle, angels come and opening its receptacle, bring it forth. When likewise it is sprinkled over all the earth, it forms a union with every kind of water on the ground for the waters remain on the ground as nourishment to the earth from El Elyon, who is in heaven. 
Upon this account, therefore, there is a regulation in the quantity of rain which the angels receive. These things I saw, all of them, even paradise.